Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelly. Hi, if you're new, today I'm so excited to be sitting down and sharing with you guys all of my favorites from the month of April. I cannot believe April's already almost over. Like, how the heck did this month fly by so quickly? But I am so excited and really looking forward to the upcoming month of May. I hope you guys had a wonderful April as well. And if it didn't go as you planned, don't worry, we have next month. So, if you guys are new to my channel, I love sharing all of my favorites in music, shows, beauty, clothing, and just accessories in these videos. They are lengthy chit chat type videos so get ready sit down grab a drink and I am so excited to chit chat with you guys if you haven't already definitely hit that subscribe button down below and be sure this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoy it and before we get started if we have anything in common throughout this video let me know in the comments down below I do read and respond back to every single comment and I love being able to chit chat with you guys you seriously are all of my besties I seriously love you guys so much so thank you for watching this video and we're gonna get started with my top five songs on Spotify like I always do. So my Spotify is just that Kelly Two Wise Tomlinson and you guys I feel like the warmer weather it's sunny outside I've been listening to country music and my mom actually showed this song to me and it is called Drunk and I Don't Want to Go Home by Ellie King and Miranda Lambert. It might be L King actually but such a fun upbeat song I love it I've been listening to it like crazy I've also been listening to As It Was by Harry Styles I'm so excited. I hope, fingers crossed, there's another album to come. I love the song Big Energy. The vibe of it just makes me so happy. It's such a fun song to jam out to. I'm going to be very basic here. I love the song First Class by Jack Harlow. I don't know if I'm being honest. I think I just really like Fergie's glamorous part, but you know, I like it. It's stuck in my head all the time. And then the fifth song is Sunshine by One Republic. This came on randomly on like my shuffle and it is just a really peppy song. I love listening to it in the morning. So again, my Spotify is just at Kelly Two Wise Tomlinson. If you guys have any song recommendations or want to share your favorites, let me know in the comments down below. But now we're moving on to what I've been watching. I just finally watched Finding Dory on Disney for the first time. Cute movie. I liked Finding Nemo. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I thought it was a little sad. I will be honest, I cried during it. This one was definitely a little sad, but it was just so cute and well done, and you don't have to watch Finding Nemo to understand Finding Dory, but there's definitely some correlations. And then also, we started watching Peaky Blinders on Netflix again, which is just kind of like a British mob boss movie show it's a show and i think there's five seasons they're coming up with season six this summer so excited it's like a again british and they have like british accents and i love it so those are the shows and movies that i've been watching and now i'm so excited to share with you guys what i've been wearing so if you guys follow me over on tiktok which is kelly underscore prepster i share my outfits of the day over there a ton i've been posting a lot so there's a lot of daily content but i think i share it a lot on here too so don't worry I wore this yellow dress from Shein and I can't wait for warmer weather to wear it again and it is like this bow dress like these sleeves are just so grand because they have these huge big bows like a cute little tight fit top and then it's just like a layered tier maxi dress I put the little video over here because this dress literally reminds me of Harry Styles song golden I love it it's just such happy vibes I also have been wearing these fabletic leggings like crazy they are just like all white super flattering I guess they're more of a cream color but I really like them they are called the power hold so they're definitely like leggings and I love that so they're super flattering they have a little cell phone case and mesh throughout the bottom then I still haven't shared this in like a video yet but I have a collab with Judith March I will have a discount code linked down below for you guys but she has the cutest stuff and they sent me a PR package and I got this sweatshirt and it says best day ever but like look how stinking cute all of these letters are I've been wearing this like crazy it is the comfiest little cropped crew neck ever Something that's fun to style it with is this little flowy skirt, but this is also super cute for spring. This is from Shein. It's kind of trending. It reminds me of like a Love Shack fancy dupe. Just super cute and girly. And then of course, since it has been kind of cold still, a pair of Abercrombie 
jeans. These are the straight leg 90 jeans, I believe. I got them in Curve Love and they are so flattering. So again, highly recommend Abercrombie. I love a denim jean look with a tank top rolling in to spring and summer. But those are my favorite clothes. If you guys want to see more outfit videos, let me know. But also I have a ton over on my Instagram and TikTok. So be sure to keep up with me over there. But now I'm so excited. I have never been like a huge beauty person, but I have so many beauty products to share with you guys. And this one has been sitting outside of my freezer. So this is a pink ice roller. It's on my Amazon shop, which is linked down below. But ice rolling your face has been like, I've seen it all over. And I was like, okay, I just have to buy one. And this was around $18, $19. And you keep it in your freezer. But this is frozen. And you just like roll it on your face. I would do it to show you guys, but I have makeup on right now. And it is just a really relaxing feeling. There's so many benefits to it. And I really like it. It supposedly helps with headaches too when you do it on your forehead. And I notice a difference with it. Then I also picked up this Tree Hut Tropic Glow Whip Shea Butter. And oh my goodness, it smells like summertime. So loving this. It's kind of like a coconut summertime lotion smell. Then during the Target Stony Clover haul, I picked up this tie-dye hairbrush and I have been loving it. I also got a haircut, so it's been like really fun to style my hair because it feels super duper healthy. Then I picked up these Crest whitening strips from Costco and I want to do a whole Talkative Tuesday episode. I want to bring back Talkative Tuesdays about like prepping for summer because I'm so excited this year. So I picked up these in. John and I have been doing our whitening strips and then I also picked up, well actually I got sent this in a PR package and it is from Verse and it's called Mood Lighting Glow, Glow Drops and you put this on after your skincare routine and I feel like it just makes me have the glow skin I love it I got this in the shade golden oh my gosh it's like they know I'm like a Harry Styles fan but it is so beautiful on and I love it especially when you don't want to wear any makeup so it's just after you apply all your skincare and it just adds a little shimmery glow but it's like not obnoxious so those are all of my beauty favorites I do have five more accessories shoes and hats and purses just because I always have more to share with you guys and I will be completely honest I've been on a western kick lately I love it so I have these white cowgirl boots aren't these so fun these are from Shein super inexpensive I think they're so cute I also have my snakeskin booties and my parents got these for me for Christmas and they're from Chelsea and Violet I don't really know where that's from but I think they're so singing cute there are a few pairs that I really want to get from Steve Madden. I'll put them over here. And Betsy Johnson also has a rhinestone version. I'm just like dreaming of them. Then part of my Judith March club, I got this trucker hat. Isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen? It's got like a big pink smiley face on it. Not a huge hat person yet, but I can see myself wearing this on like vacation. And then I also have this neon green purse with the pink patch. So fun fact, I actually got this purse from Shein and I had these little hearts that I ordered off Amazon and I just put a piece of tape and put it right here. I think it's so stinking cute. So I'm going to be styling this very soon. And then the last accessory that I want to share with you guys is my new bracelet. My mom picked this up for me. Isn't this so cute? Oh. And I got my nails done today. Oh, I picked out, I think it was called Cherry Apple. And it's a, and it's a gel. It was like D32, if that helps anything. But I'm so excited to finally have my nails done because I had that like off-white color for so long. If you guys have been following along on the nail polish drama. So that's a little update. I do have two random things to share with you guys that are super random. The first one. I changed up our bedroom. I moved some pieces around, so now I have like a different filming setup and I could not be happier about it because it just feels really like a new energy. So I had to share that. And I also have been inspired by my friend Molly, Gracefully Gingham. I will have a link her channel and vlog down below. We've done collabs before. She's a really good friend. Recommend it checking out Canva. And Canva's kind of like Photoshop. So if you guys do any marketing or just like making social media stuff, I think they have a lot of other resources on there too. But it is so much fun. She recommended it and me and John are currently using it and we love it. So it's just really fun. You can make like graphics on it. And I'll be sure to share a whole little maybe like a talkative Tuesday episode about it but loving it and then of course to finish this video off I love it to share a quote with you guys that's been inspiring me and the quote's really simple nothing changes if nothing changes 
going to let that sit in for a minute. <laughs> but I love this quote because I think the winter blues have ended and now I'm kind of like, okay, Kelly, get it together. If you don't start changing your stuff right now, nothing's going to change. So I just thought that was really fun and motivating to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this favorites video. If we have anything in common, let me know. All my social medias are linked down below and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you guys back here very soon with my next video. Bye guys.